Hi everybody, welcome back to Flossman Media. In this video, we're gonna be removing some bloat from the initial install of the Tevian operating system with the GNOME desktop. And by bloat, I'm just referring to all the games that come pre-installed. I'll be using Debian 10 Buster for today, but the same command will also work on newer versions such as 11, as all the packages and games are all named the same. And this corresponds throughout the last few releases of Debian with the GNOME desktop. I found I've just had to run this one command to get rid of all the games, and that was it. Uh, just because these names of these games haven't seemed to change. Uh, Debian 12 will be coming out fairly soon, so I'm not sure whether that will affect that. But uh, yeah, for the current version of Debian and the ones before it, it works just fine. So and I think for me, I counted about 18 games that were on the system that I wanted to get rid of. So I think I'll just jump over that uh, my list right now. And here it is on the left. And those are just all the names of the uh, games that I wanted to get rid of that were up here in the activities menu. And down here below that, we have the command that we can use to get rid of them. And as far as the command goes, it's just the apt purge command. And then after that, it just lists out all of the applications or all the game applications that I want to get rid of. And I think for now, I'll just uh, maybe jump over to the virtual machine where we're, we're about to do this. And I'll just show you how I found all these names. Uh, because they do have to be a specific name uh, for us to use it in the purge command. Uh, say like we just say, uh, if we just want to remove mines and we didn't specify gnomes before it, uh, we'd probably get an error. So I'll just quickly show you how to uh, go about finding those names. And to do that, we can just open up a panel or uh, I'll jump over the virtual machine here. And open up a terminal. And first we can, I guess, uh, look for a couple games we want to get rid of here. I'll click on all. Uh, there's one five and more, four in a row. Uh, nibbles, mines, robots, all that stuff. So like I said before, the name that we're going to have to use in our little uh, script um, isn't going to match these exactly. So I'll say for this one, uh, robots, if I go back over the terminal, I can just say uh, apt search uh, robots and enter. And then if I scroll up a bit here, uh, it should be, and there it is right there. Uh, it's gnome hyphen robots. So all we have to do is add that to our list and it should go ahead and uninstall it for us. And the uh, list that I'm speaking of here is uh let me find my uh, sorry I just seem to have lost my page here oh there we go just out this virtual machine i haven't quite played around with the workspaces and stuff yet so i may get lost a little lost once in a while here um so that like right there you can see no more robots we have it installed so we can just copy that and i'll show you where i put that here so let's go shift home, clear this out. And now if I ls, you can see I have a command in here that we were just looking at our text editor. I right, so I wouldn't have to copy it over. So if I cut that out, uh, bolt list, uh, txt. Uh, you can see all the applications here that we saw before. And gnome robots, gnome nibbles right there. So you can see that as the uh, gnome and hyphen in front of it. So for each application that you want to get rid of in this menu right here, you'll just have to write down the short form name like I just did and then go back to your terminal and do a search for it and then just build your command just like this. So I just have uh, sudo apt purge and then all the package names listed after it. And if you're gonna be installing um, Debian with the GNOME desktop, and you just want to remove these games, you can actually just run this command exactly as I am, and that's what it'll do. And you just want to worry about it until the next time you reinstall your system. So maybe I'll just make this a bit bigger. And we can run an update here to be on the safe side. That looks like everything is up to date. 
just don't want to slide it now. Cut that out again. And I'll also leave this uh, this command in the description too. So that way you can just copy and paste it into uh, whichever text editor you're using. So all I'm going to do right now is just copy this whole command. So right from sudo apt purge all the way to the end of the tail. And I'll just copy that and paste that here. And then hit enter. And then hit Y. Say so yes, you do want, actually want to uninstall that stuff. And take note here too of the uh, asterisk beside each one of the package names. And that just indicates to get rid of the entire package, including the config files and all that stuff. So then that way you don't have any remnants to these uh, programs just lingering around on your system. So I'm just going to enter to, to do that. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. It's 18 games, so it won't be lightning fast, but it should be pretty quick. And there we go. So now if I just say uh, apt search uh, robots, enter, and then I scroll up. It should be gnome slash robots. And gnome slash robots. Yep, you can see right there that it's not installed. And I think I just went past it there. Ah, where is gnome slash robots? I must have passed already a couple times. There we are right there. Uh, gnome slash robots. And before it had the uh, the square brackets with installed right here. And if that is, if you're doing this on a brand new and fresh in system, the only difference is it'll say um, installed on a Mac beside it instead of just installed. Because I did try out this command really quick right before I started filming this video just to make sure everything would go good. And uh, so it did, but yeah, that would be the only difference is yours may say automatic in front of it before you uninstall it. But yeah, that should be all our games gone. So now if I maybe just try to search for nipples. Uh, APT search. Oh, maybe I just follow search right. And there's no nibbles, and yet it's not installed anymore either. Whereas before it's uh, installed right here. And I can clear this out. Let me just check the activities menu here. Just make sure they're gone out of here. And you see we're down to two pages. Uh, I don't see any games. And none there either. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, one other th little thing we could do just to do a little bit of cleanup here is we can just open this up and I'm just going to run sudo apt update again, just to update the package list after we uh, uninstall some stuff. Oh. Uh. And then just run the command sudo apt auto remove. And that should get any rid of any uh, residual uh, configuration files or anything that may be left behind. And yeah, we got a few things there. Um, that'll also include, say, old kernels, kernels. If you'd have them left over from previous updates that some may have gotten left back. And you may want to keep some of those. So you do have to be a little bit careful just using this command to uh, clean up your system. Uh, just in case you weren't already aware of that. But for me, it all looks good. So I'm just going to hit yes and get rid of all that stuff. And for me, I should now have a uh, bloat-free system. So let's have a more quick look in here. Yep. And like too, I said, I'll uh, make sure I leave that um, that line of code that we executed in the description part in this in this uh, video. So that way, you guys can just copy and paste it from there. 
And if you're also using Debian with GNOME, you won't even have to change any of the names or anything because uh, your version should also have the exact same games as the one I did. And I think that's about it. So yeah, I think, uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps save someone out there a little bit of time. Uh, especially this would be great to add to say like a post to install script. And that way when you're done installing and configuring your system, you can just run that one command at the end to remove all your bloatware and clean everything up. But yeah, I think that's it. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.